Since the beginning of time, humans have looked up to the sky, wondering what lies beyond. In ancient texts like the Bible, the heavens are described as a firmament, an expansive dome separating the waters above from the waters below. But in today's world, with the advancements of science, we've come to understand the universe in a different way. So, how does the biblical firmament stand up against modern science? In this video, we'll explore the idea of the firmament from the Bible, dive into how ancient cultures viewed the heavens, and see how science has challenged and reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. Stick around as we explore the firmament versus science. The firmament, or rakia in Hebrew, first appears in the book of Genesis. In Genesis 1, 6-8, God commands, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And so the firmament was created, separating the waters above from those below, and God called the firmament heaven. In the ancient Hebrew worldview, the firmament was seen as a solid, dome-like structure that held back waters above the earth. This structure created a boundary between the earthly realm and the heavenly realm. It wasn't just a biblical concept. Many ancient cultures, including the Babylonians, Egyptians, and Greeks, shared similar ideas about the sky being a solid dome. But why did ancient people believe in a firmament? For them, the heavens appeared as a vast blue dome overhead. Rain fell from the sky, which seemed to suggest there was water up there. The firmament explained how this water could be held back until it was released as rain. Ancient cosmology, including the firmament, made sense in a pre-scientific world. People relied on observation, tradition, and religious texts to understand the cosmos. The sky was viewed as a physical barrier, and the stars were thought to be fixed in place within this dome. For example, in Psalm 19.1, the heavens are described as declaring the glory of God, reinforcing the belief that the heavens were a divinely created expanse. But with the advent of modern science, our understanding of the universe changed. In the 16th century, the Polish astronomer Copernicus proposed that the Earth revolves around the sun, challenging the geocentric view that placed Earth at the center of the universe. Then, Galileo's telescope revealed that the heavens were not fixed, but filled with countless stars and planets moving through space. As our telescopes got more powerful, we realized the firmament wasn't a solid dome, but rather a vast, expanding universe full of galaxies, black holes, and stars millions of light years away. This was a complete departure from the biblical concept of a physical firmament. Today, science explains the sky through the concept of the atmosphere, a layer of gases surrounding the Earth. The atmosphere is crucial for sustaining life. It provides oxygen, protects us from the sun's harmful radiation, and helps regulate the planet's temperature. Unlike the firmament, the atmosphere is not a solid structure, but a mixture of gases like nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Scientists categorize the atmosphere into five layers. The troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. Each layer plays a unique role, from the weather systems in the troposphere to the protective ozone layer in the stratosphere. Above the exosphere lies the infinite vacuum of outer space. Rain, which the ancient people believed came from the waters above the firmament, is now understood as part of the water cycle. Water evaporates from the Earth's surface, condenses in clouds, and eventually falls back to Earth as precipitation. This process, while not mystical, is essential for sustaining life on Earth. Perhaps the biggest difference between the firmament and modern science lies in our understanding of space itself. In the biblical worldview, the firmament was a fixed expanse, a boundary between the earthly and the divine. But modern astronomy reveals that the universe is anything but static. In fact, it's expanding. In the 20th century, astronomers discovered that galaxies are moving away from each other, leading to the theory of an expanding universe. 
The Big Bang Theory suggests that the universe began from a single point and has been expanding ever since. This dynamic, ever-changing universe is far from the firm, stable structure that ancient people envisioned in the firmament. We now know that what lies beyond the atmosphere is not a dome, but a vast, infinite space filled with galaxies, stars, black holes, and cosmic mysteries that we are only beginning to understand. Given what we now know about the universe, can the firmament still hold any meaning? For many religious believers, the answer is yes. The firmament can be understood symbolically rather than literally. In this view, the firmament represents the divide between the physical world and the spiritual realm, the boundary between the seen and unseen. In religious terms, the firmament can still serve as a reminder of the divine, a symbol of the heavens and the mysteries of creation. It is a concept that encourages believers to look beyond the material world and contemplate the higher spiritual truths of existence. In fact, many religious texts contain symbolic language that reflects the worldview of the time, but can still be applied in a more abstract way today. The firmament may no longer align with our scientific understanding of the universe, but that doesn't mean it's lost its significance. The firmament versus science debate isn't necessarily about one being right and the other being wrong. It's about understanding how ancient people explained the world around them and how modern science has given us new tools to explore the cosmos. Ultimately, whether we view the firmament as a physical dome or a symbolic divide, it serves as a powerful reminder of humanity's enduring quest to understand the heavens and our place within the universe. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this exploration of the firmament and science, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into ancient beliefs and modern discoveries.